Okay, today we are going to look at how to use Ghost Browser as a to-do list. And I'm going to show you using the Ghost Browser feature request board. Um, I'm going to show you what my daily process would be. Now, normally I would do this with our internal uh, board that we use with our development teams, but um, I'm just going to use this today. So normally what in, in a standard... Uh, browser, what you would do is um, with in Trello is when I wake up, I would have all these notifications to look at and I get between five and 15 a day. So um, Trello used to have this uh, feature where if you wanted to scroll down past the first eight or 10 comments, you'd have to click view all activity and then it, they'd have a big window pop up here. They'd show you the same exact um, cards that you just looked at, then you'd have to uh, hit the more button for the to get the lazy load to work and you'd have to keep scrolling and every time you want you were finished dealing with one card you'd have to go through that process again it was very inefficient um, now they looks like actually just recently they've made a change I haven't done this method for a while because I've been using projects to do this instead but it looks like now they have this view all activity and it opens up it looks like it opens up a new window but it's really the same thing so you still have to kind of scroll through all that, but you can still leave everything open here, which is which is an improvement. But I still think it's better to use projects for this. And as you can see, I've set up a project here and I've named it with today's date, April 20th, 2017. And um, I've saved that as a project. So now I'm going to go through, this is what I would normally do is go through all of the cards that I need to look at. And we can see that's the same card, so we don't need to open that. And here's another one. Here's another one. And as you can see, they're all opening into um, new tabs. Okay. Okay, so now, um, now that I have all of my uh, tabs open, all of my cards open in separate tabs, this becomes like a to-do list. So as I go through and I make a comment on a card, I just close that tab, okay? And as I continue to close the tabs, I know that my uh, Trello work is done for that day when I get down to zero, or at least for that morning. Now, I'll also, I'll take this a step further and I'll um, go through my email. I get hundreds every morning. So uh, that can be a real pain. And sometimes there, so, sometimes there are things that I really uh, want and need to deal with in my email. So I'll also open up, up my email and I'll make, um, I'll do the same thing. I'll open those tabs up so that it's part of my project. And that's my dated project. So as I go through, I get rid of tabs and it's actually quite satisfying to see the number of tabs go down like that. So, but the, really the beauty of this is because all of my tab opens and tab closes are saved to this project, I can switch away from it anytime. And I've really been focusing a lot lately on uh, having a more productive routine. And that means staying out of um, Trello, not being on Trello all day, not being in email all day, and really focusing on the big projects that need to be done. Okay, so let's say that one of my projects, and I don't actually do this at our company, but uh, let's say that one of our projects, okay, that's, a, that's an old um, project. It's not there anymore. Uh, let's say that one of my projects, um, okay, I'm in the home project. This is the basic project. Let's say that something I'm working on that day is working on Twitter engagement for three different clients. Okay. So I'll have this project where I'm working on client A, client B, client C, and I can be logged into all of them, of course. Um, so I'm, I'm doing work in there and then I, I kind of finish that and maybe I have some other tabs open in my home project. Um, and then it's time to go back to Trello. So I just go back to my daily task list, make sure that every, everything is done. And you can see that the tab state is saved there. So what this does is it allows me to focus on doing the stuff that I need to do in Trello without all the distractions that come with the thousands of open tabs that most of us go through in a week. So here, everything is isolated and everything is a little bit of a to-do list. You could even take this one step further and let's say you have three social media clients, and this is a very simple example. 
and probably not too realistic um, in terms of the actual work that a, a social media manager would do. But uh, let's say that you have um, three ta- three clients that you have to do Twitter stuff for every day. So what you could do is take this project, okay, and let's give it a name. So now it's all clients' Twitter accounts. And I haven't actually logged in, but if you, you can actually log into all three of your clients' accounts. And when you come back to this the next day, you're still going to be logged in. So it's very it's a very efficient way to, uh, to handle that kind of a task, especially a re- repetitive task. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I take this all client Twitter accounts and I'm going to lock it. Okay, so once it's locked... I can close these. Okay, let's say I dealt with all three of my Twitter clients and my, that job is done for the day. I know I'm going to need to do it again tomorrow, but um, after I finish it for today, I go back and I work on my Trello cards. And then the next day, when I come back to this repetitive task, because it's locked, I'm going to get the same, it's going to be in the same state as it was when I locked it. See? So I have all three of the Twitter accounts. I'll still be logged in the next day. Um, and it's a good way to, to keep, that's basically like a recurring to-do list. The difference here is because this dated project is not locked, as I get rid of the actual tabs, it's going to remember that I deleted that tab and it's not going to show it to me next time. So it's a really good way to sort of knock stuff off of your list. Okay, so that's one uh, one way that I've been sort of trying to push the limits a little bit with uh, with projects, and it's it's worked out pretty well so far. And the the beauty, the thing that I like most about doing this with Trello and email is that there are two things that can really distract me from getting done the the big projects that I need big chunks of time for. So by isolating them into these projects, I can do my other work without being distracted by them, which is really one of my uh, favorite things about this, and one of the reasons. Uh, why we built this browser to begin with. So um, I hope you enjoy that. And if you have creative ways that you're using projects, please let us know.